so this is a wee bit of, this is a small bit of a strange thing that I discovered. Uh, now I use one of these Sennheiser, uh, sorry, Steinberg UR12 interfaces and at some point the XLR input gave up. Uh, I'm not sure when. Uh, I, was, I was using it to record a demo song last summer and I hadn't really used it until uh, recently when I was trying to video call my mate. Uh, so I've had problems getting that mic input to work. Uh, the instrument input was fine when I stuck a guitar in, that was fine. But when I tried to use the XLR input, no joy. Uh, we seem to have remedied that problem just now. Uh, I was looking, kind of reading about it, and people were suggesting it was a Windows thing. It was a Windows problem since they updated in December. Uh, so I run two OSs, two operating systems on this machine. Uh, I have the Windows 10 and then I have the Ubuntu version of Linux as well. So I decided to boot in, uh, Linux to see what would happen and right enough uh, the microphone input worked fine. Uh, went into Audacity, quick recording, worked fine. Uh, tried to record the message on WhatsApp, that didn't work until I changed the setting in Ubuntu just to make the default input device the Steinberg, Steinberg UR12. It is down there, so I keep looking at it. Uh, the strange thing was, when I booted back into Windows 10, it works. <laughs> no, <laughs> no idea why. No idea why, but it works. Uh, so I plugged it in and out to record this, and it's still working. Uh, if I can maneuver it, I'll bring the camera around so you can see what's happening. Got to see. That's the XLR input there, and the microphone up to here at my mouse. There you go. Bleh. So, just in case, that's something that you had me try when you've been trying to. Because I've seen when you Google this, uh, you can find help pages on Steinberg, but none of them offer any answers. So, it might be a solution for somebody. I know everyone won't be running the two o operating systems on the machine. So it's a wee bit of a roundabout hack to kind of go and install Linux and and then run that alongside Windows, but it might save your 90, 100 quid audio interface and might stop you having to buy a new one. So it might be worth it, something you can try. Hopefully this helps somebody, although the chances are it won't be found because I'm not, I'm not a YouTube person that uploads loads of videos. So there we have it. But maybe worth trying. Hopefully, help somebody. Thanks if you bothered to listen.